Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and this news for Blender people is just amazing. So if you are a Blender user, this has been one hell of a year. It's just like win after win after win after win and we've got one more win and I will get to that in just a minute after we do a recap of the previous win. So there has been a ton happening in this year with Blender. In fact, in this half a year with Blender, starting back in July. In July, they released Blender 2.80 and I would probably argue that this is the most important release of Blender, at least since 2.4, possibly since Blender itself. It's a huge release. We got a complete update to the user interface. Uh, we got a new real-time PBR viewport renderer that's massive in performance improvements over before. We got um, 2D drawing support and animation in there, a whole bunch of stuff. The cycles renderer got improved. If you want to check that out, I will link all of the linked articles down below. So if you want to learn more about anything I talk about it, it will be linked. But you can see Blender 2.80 released back in July kind of kicked the train off. But then after that, Epic Games, yes, I know some people villainize Epic Games lately. I'm not one of them. I, I don't really have anything against Epic Games, especially after they handed $1.2 million to the Blender Foundation. So yeah, that was pretty sweet. So that enabled a number of new developers to be hired on the Blender staff. Um, they had a core focus. It was around uh, specifically... Improvement to onboarding coordination and best practices for code quality. So that's the kind of stuff that will actually help Blender uh, to develop across the board. So this is going to be over three years. They're going to be getting this $1.2 million from Epic Games. So that was definitely a big win they got there. Then they followed that one up with another win. Now, this one's a little bit smaller, but comes with more prestige attached to it. Ubisoft, or Ubisoft, however you pronounce that, uh, also joined on as a gold sponsor. Now, gold sponsor is, well, we'll get to the, what the exact numbers mean in a few minutes. Uh, but the big thing here is their animation studio were coming on board with Ubisoft and they're also going to be sort of with Blender and they're going to be contributing back to the project as well. Now this isn't uh, Ubisoft in terms of game development, at least not yet. This is Ubisoft's animation team. Uh, but still definitely another win they had going on. And then they had um, this one. Now the, the title here is a little confusing. The, the big announcement here was that NVIDIA joined the Blender Foundation at the patron level. And the patron level is quite quite sizable. We'll see that in a few minutes, but this is another one of those things that is going to have a tangible impact on the future of Blender. So NVIDIA coming on board was definitely a good move. Now, one of the reasons why I did this particular video, and if you're getting a little worried about the whole premise of all of this outside corporate money coming into Blender and how, you know, they could take over and shape the future of Blender in a bad way, or they could close source it, or they could start selling it or whatever. If you have any of those fears, watch this video. It explains why they're mostly unfounded. Blender itself is going nowhere other than, I guess, up and in so really, there is no reason to fear all of this influx of money. It's basically all a good thing. So the next thing we've got going on is today's news. And this one, actually, there is no news yet. All we have is a tweet. And here is the tweet. Uh, so Blender announced today that AMD is going to be joining Blender at the patron level as well. So that means there are now three patrons. Uh, you've got... Um, Epic Games because of their $1.2 million grant. You've got uh, NVIDIA, and then now you've got AMD. And you gotta wonder, when NVIDIA come on board, there were some comments in that video, in the Not For Sale video about, oh, this is going to result in NVIDIA support being better on Blender. And yeah, of course it will, that's, that's a great thing. You're gonna have uh, NVIDIA devs that know their hardware the best and they're funding it. They're gonna probably make cars available to the foundation. Um, so this is kind of one of those areas where a corporate funder made a lot of sense. But the question is, okay, well, then what about AMD hardware? Well, there were two things there. It's not like a Blender Foundation were gonna leave AMD behind anyways uh, but now it just made a lot of sense for AMD to come on board as well and they have so this is great so now we've got uh, AMD as a patron founder level and we've got Nvidia as a patron founder level so the two major graphics card manufacturers out there uh, and I suppose one is a, a CPU manufacturer as well they are now on board with Blender so this should result in nothing but improvements to Blender in general which is just excellent news so that is today's news unfortunately there is no uh, no news story yet nothing from AMD and nothing from Blender so we don't have a lot more details to go into but we can go into the development fund details now instead so here you can see the Blender development fund and it is broken down to tiers now there's a lot of individual tiers so these are just people uh, like you or me um, forking out some money uh, at between six and 
$300 a month to help fund Blender. And then we've got the corporate memberships. We'll break down what the corporate memberships mean in just a second, but you'll see right here, we now have three patron level funders, Epic, AMD, and NVIDIA. And then we come into the corporates. We got Ubisoft, Tangent Labs, Embark, and David Jeske. Uh, and then corporate silver, we've got uh, Ubuntu or Ubuntu. I don't know. I always say it wrong. Alif, Polygon, uh, Studio Cara, Steam, Blender Market, Adidas, Google, and Intel. Starting to think that maybe this one, this one might require a little, a little bump. Bump. I, I would say, hey, hey, Intel, if you're watching this, you're looking kind of cheap now. So anyways, they, it's cool that they're a corporate silver sponsor anyways, and they've been there all along. So don't get on Intel about this, but it, it would be nice to see a bump. Uh, so there are the major manufacturers out there. It, there's a few people that are kind of missing from this list that you'd like to see, maybe like a Wacom, uh, people that uh, make... Uh, input devices for 3D, they, they would have good synergy there as well. But we got a good group of people sponsoring it right now for sure. Um, and then you, of course you get down here into the, the individuals sponsoring it and there's there's quite a few here obviously. And if you want to uh, get your name in these credits, all you need to do is come in at gold or $30 a month and you too shall show up on this page. So that is really cool. This this funding actually helps them hire more and more developers. So you can see kind of the the funding levels that they're at now is um, 110,000 basically a month. And unfortunately, their UI person didn't really think this one through uh, because now they're obscuring the number of developers that represents when they get to their goal. And I believe it is 20, I think. It's been a while. I know I actually captured it in the last video. So if you're really interested in seeing what is under here, well, actually, I wonder if I can do this. One second. I am so smart. All right, here we go. I just kind of hit it in the uh, visibility. So you see here, yes, it is $20, 20 developers that are trying to fund here. And uh, they are currently 115,000 goal. And let's turn that back on. And you see they're at the 109,000. I don't know if that is updated to include the newest funding level, uh, but still that is a great progress. Like this earlier on was way lower down here. So now we've got the ability for 20 people to be working full-time on Blender. And if you know anything about the way Blender 2.8 um, development went, they did this fundraiser code Code Quest, I think it was called, where they, they raised money to bring the core developers together for three or four months so that they could work on things. And nothing, never has Blender developed faster than when they got all the developers together in the same place. So the more they can hire on a permanent basis, again, the faster and better Blender will improve. So that is the current membership lineup. Now I mentioned earlier on, we would look at what those corporate memberships actually meant from a tangible number source. Uh, bronze is 6,000 Euro, 6, euros a year, uh, corporate, Silver is 12,000 euros, uh, gold is 30,000 euros, and you can see that represents one month, two month, or half a year of developer times. And a patron is at least 120,000 euro per year. Uh, so you're looking at two developers out of that uh, on an annual basis from a corporate patron. And the key word here, of course, is or more. So the minimum that AMD just gave the Blender Foundation is 120,000 euros per year. So uh, first off, uh, AMD, congratulations. Uh, along with NVIDIA, NVIDIA, what you did was great too. And uh, Epic Games, so you three patrons is absolutely amazing. And not to diminish those other tiers or whatever, the, 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 uh, the bronze, silver, and gold are all amazing, as are anybody out there that makes an individual donation, no matter how much money to support the foundation. But I gotta admit, the patron ones do kind of they jump out a bit because of, of the huge numbers attached. And frankly, it gives such a tangible, immediate result. So you've got two more developers potentially working on um, Blender as of basically as soon as they're hired. So that is a pretty awesome development. And uh, yeah, thank you, AMD, for your support. And Blender, you just keep getting better and better and better. Now, I'm curious... Um, and what your opinion as a community is, if we look at the, this list here of people that are currently backing it. So now you see these ones you just expected to be on there, AMD and Nvidia, they make the most sense. There's a huge amount of synergy. Uh, Epic has their mega grants program, so it kind of made sense. The writing was sort of on the wall when they announced the mega grants because uh, Blender just fit what they were trying to do perfectly. They were looking for open source projects for 3D and so on. Like it was just, yeah, okay, that one's gonna happen eventually. And then we go through this list. Is there someone really missing from here? Uh, maybe Microsoft should probably be on here. Um, Intel definitely is maybe gonna bump up a little bit because Intel is the only one missing from this list that I really would expect to be uh, there, like to have a tangible advantage of having their hardware supported as best as possible. Uh, there was that survey out basically saying that um, 
Blender ran twice as fast on uh, Linux as it did on Windows. So, you know, maybe it does make sense for Microsoft to get in here and sponsor some performance improvements. But tell me if there's a name that kind of stands out as missing that, that you think should also be sponsoring uh, the Blender Foundation. But all told, that's just like a fun conversation to have in addition. This is just great news all around. It's nothing really negative to say. It's it's good for uh, AMD to be joining, especially to offset that NVIDIA thing. So you can rest assured that it's not like one piece of hardware is going to be better supported than the other. Uh, they're both throwing resources at Blender, and Blender obviously will use some of them to make sure that both of those products work well anyways. But that was something that Blender has had to do for ages. Blender supports CUDA, Blender supports OpenGL, or, or whatever rendering systems behind the scenes. And and Blender has supported hardware devices for, for you know, since day one. So this is um, a logical conclusion, but it wasn't like NVIDIA or AMD wasn't going to be supported if they didn't do this. So it, bravo to AMD coming on board, bravo to NVIDIA, and bravo to everybody else. And congratulations once again, Blender. All right, talk to you all later. Goodbye.